Hello there, TDBoy here, and welcome to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Now, we're going to start a new game. Uh, I'll ask him by all the things we say, what is a new game, cost 10 boxes, leave me inside it, will kill you. Screw it, let's do it. Um, we, uh, we're going to be jumping into, into Amnesia. I have played this before. Excuse me. I have played this before. Um, and I played this before, but you know, this game is one of those, you know, like, when I was when I was first getting into YouTube, not doing it, but I mean like being introduced to it and watching people play it. Um, th th this this was like one of the first let's play games that I got into. You know, this was this is how, as I'm sure with many people, found people like PewDiePie, and these these were the times. Watching Mark play Yami Mash, PewDiePie play play Amnesia and all the custom stories, and you know, obviously the main game as well because that's also good. Um, that was that was the stuff. That, those were the teenage years. Let's just jump straight into it, shall we? There we go. We're going to play. It. I've never played it on hard mode, so this this ought to be interesting. We, we let, let, let us let us wake up in where where are we again? I know we're in a castle, but I just forget where we are. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. Indeed, we should. Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is. Yes. I am Daniel. We are Daniel. We are Daniel, and, and and we are desperately trying to not suffer the effects of amnesia. There we go. So that answers that. That answers that. That that title. Let me just. There we go. That is, that is very very bright. There we go. It's just sure. Why not? And here we are, waking up in Bretton Bre 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 I I can't remember the name of this castle. Um, oh wow, we are, we are blurry vision. A memento has been added to the journal. Make sure to collect these whenever you are stuck. Uh, follow the liquid trail and find its source. Lovely. First of all, notes, no. Nope. Diaries, no. Right, so we don't have anything there. Oh, we don't. Well, we have the liquid trail. I don't remember what this liquid trail actually is. I assume this is blood that we've got over here. But I'm not actually sure. Um, let's go this way, because I want to see what there is. Now, we are in darkness at the moment. And we, we are currently going insane, and we can die to going insane. We need to be careful of this. Holding down, move the right stick. Yep, sure. Everything's great. Um, all right. Well, there we go. There's there's light. That'll that'll help us out a little bit. I don't think we can get rid of our insanity right at the moment. Uh, I think un until we until until we until we get a little bit further once we've done this. Um, but yep, typical typical frictional games. Um, yeah, I don't have any. Oh, we have that. Yeah, I don't have any tinder boxes, so oh well. Um, I hear you. Um, there we go. Yeah, we can throw it. Typical, typical frictional games with all picking everything up. Oh there. Oh no! Fall into the knight's arms. There we go. Protect me. We are, we are on our last legs if we even have them at this point. Uh, we are going insane, and that can kill us at this point. Although, weirdly enough, we appear to have straightened ourselves up now after that. Tinderboxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the environment. The current number of tinderboxes is shown in inventory. There we go. Um, I don't think I'm going to be reading out all those hints because that would imply that I then have to move the camera, but. I mean, I could do. I mean, I could, I suppose. Like, I don't. I mean, maybe I'll just be in, like, the bottom bottom left or something, considering the fact that we probably don't need it. Um, I could go up there, but I think that's where I'm supposed to go, so instead I'm going to go here. It's a real big shame that we don't have custom stories on consoles, but, you know, maybe I'll, I'll do that on PC at some point. Uh, we have... We have... That there is definitely a physical class that is there, and I can't see anything, so I'm just going to have to assume that there's nothing here. We, uh, we we have suffered the effects of amnesia. We no longer remember anything about who we are, where we are, or what on earth we're doing here. Uh, we've just woken up in a strange castle. I don't remember hearing lots of running footsteps in this game. Although I suppose it has been a long while. Alright. We can hear someone being sliced apart. 
Oh, we're, 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 oh, we can barely stand up. We can barely stand up. We're, we're barely holding it together. All right, just look at the light. Straighten yourself out for a second. Oh dear. Right, let's see what this is. That blood trail is going that way. We have a door opening by itself, which is never good. We have whatever's in here. I don't know if I can die just yet to insanity, but I'm not here to find out. Uh, well, I'd imagine so because I can hear the uh, I can hear the bugs scratching in my ear in the darkness. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's the jump button. This ain't Skyrim. There we go. Um, what's in this thing? I will go and investigate that room to my right in just a moment. I.e. right now. Here we go. Wait. Well, we're standing in darkness. Yours. Uh, your da uh, your yeah, your sound it will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. I could do that, but I don't know if there actually is anything in here. So if I stand still, I'm gonna need the uh, adjust to the darkness thing to help me out. Lovely. There we go. It helps us out just a bit. There is nothing even in here, is there? No. Okay. All right. So there's nothing. There's not even any useful loot in here, which means I just wasted a tinder box. Lovely. That's always great. Yeah, tinderbox is in oil and much more rare, but that's absolutely fine as long as I can get my hands on a uh, on a lantern. I can use what little I have to do a thing. All the archives. Let's see what we got. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Hmm. So is this an abusive family or something like that? Punished by who? We've got books strewn all over the place. I assume that it is not time to brush up on our history. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Lovely. And it can also be somewhat remedied a tiny bit. Not not really reset, but you can look at light and, and be in light and it will it will sort of be There's bugs all over the place. That's how insane we are right now. We're just imagining bugs all over the place. We are losing our grip on the world. Um, if you stand, if you stand in light and stuff, it does kind of like it prolongs your death by a little bit, you know. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have the lantern yet. I kind of need to get that immediately because I won't be getting very far otherwise. Wait, I think it's in there. That's where I get the lantern, which is ideal because I bloody need the thing. Go. Off we go. Here it is. There's a lantern. No! I need a lantern. Give. There we go. I'm filled with oil. Yeah, there we go. Right, well, I'm going to chill here for a second. Let's have a look. We've got a little bit of oil. Um, we need to... So here's our health. All is good. Head is pounding and hands are shaking. That's our sanity right now. Our, uh, our, our, we're, not, we're not doing great in terms of... Okay, normally there was something in there, but you know, hard mode, so that's where we're at in terms of that. Again, I've got to be careful now uh, with my oil. Don't leave the lantern on for too long. So you just, you just you come in, you, you have a little bit of a look around, you put the lantern off. And obviously, it's going to be difficult for you guys to see anything for the moment, but you got to have a bit of a glance around, and you got to you know, keep doing this. Hey, we got chandeliers having a bit of a dance. How dare they? There we go. I always look around little corners and stuff like that for stuff like tinder boxes. Well, that sounds to me like you can hear a zombie groaning. So I wonder what that's about. Nope, nothing over there. Alright. Nope. nope, that's just a fire, which is always great. What's in here? Anything at all? Nope. Alrighty then. It would appear that Harry has done well for himself, so he's just a, he's, 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 a bit, he's, he's moved on. He's got, he's got a place of his own. Broom covered, get it? Right, what's this we've got? 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Hmm. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. Hmm. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still in bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. 
Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. Mm. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. Is it now? I've tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. As long as I can? You must both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Oh, the dark descent. I see what you did there. Now, um, yeah, so we have to go into the inner sanctum and kill Alexander of Brennenburg. Uh, there's nothing I can really do here. What does this do? That's done something. That's opened that thing for us. Lovely. Uh, first of all, how much oil do I have? Yeah, I don't have loads. Right, okay. There's nothing here for us. Have a quick little look around. There we go. So I don't want to. I don't want to sit in here too long. You know, I just need to. Uh, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's go. Let's go. Um, yes. So our objective is clear. We have to kill Alexander of Brandenburg. And uh, the other children cheered him on. His name, his name voiced at a steadily rising, rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. And which victim was this? He was being egged on by other children. I never really paid too much attention to, um... Do you want to hold while moving? Yeah. I never really paid a lot of attention to, uh, things like the loading screen text. So I don't actually know what the story is there very much. Uh, there we go. I just have... Alexander, is it inside the castle? Okay. In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Interesting. So we are, in fact, regaining our memories of this Alexander of Brennenburg. So we're in a bit of like a safe area at the moment. There's no enemies or anything like that, and it, it's well lit enough that we don't need the, uh... Uh, well, we're still kind of going insane a little bit. We're still, still seeing all these guys, little bugs. Uh, actually, to be honest, they could be real. Actually, it would appear that they're real, considering the fact that we've, uh... We, 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 we've got... Uh... Whoa. Alright, okay. Aha! Oil! Sure. Uh, the lantern drains oil when it's on. Yeah, but do that. Add more oil to the lantern. Do that. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll stock up. So we're pretty much where we left off in terms of oil. Um, uh, we, we are slowly but surely gaining our memories, and we need to figure out. Uh, I remember. Wait, hang on. Instead of me just rushing through all the puzzles, which I don't even know if I'll be able to do at this point, uh, we do have to figure out how we're getting through here. This big red goo. Let's have a look. Uh, Notes. Daniel's note to sell. Nope. Uh, mementos. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? That is an organic tissue. Now, I never really understood um, a lot about what this uh, thing is. This shadow. This breaking of. This breaking down of reality. This. Uh, um, I don't. I don't think it. So we're hearing voices down there. We'll have to go and investigate. Uh, it won't budge. Lovely. Um, yeah, I never really understood a lot about what the what this shadow is, and I don't think it's talking about a literal shadow, as in like, you know, because it always kind of confused me how it would it would refer to it as a shadow, and I don't think that's supposed to be literal. <laughs> um, okay, wait, hang on. There you go. Just get ourselves down here. I could go that way, but I'm pretty sure the game wants us to go this way first. So we'll go in here and we'll see what's what. And what is what? It's the first place we can go to. We can go down here. And what have you got for us? But this, needs, this is locked, isn't it? Wine cellar. It is locked and will not open without a key. Find the key for the wine cellar. Easy enough. I assume we're going over here to the laboratory. Indeed. And this is also, once we've got enough resources, how we cook up the third. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the consulate in, Constant in Constantinople. Alright, well, okay, I was gonna say. 
Alright, well, we've got a, we've got a very... Hmm. We've got a very eerie sounding growl coming from that direction, which means we we'll should probably be doing something about that. Alright, lovely. Let me just... Uh, first of all, is there a light nearby? No, it's not. Uh, no. I've just got to, like, stave off the darkness, like, every two seconds. Alright, let's go down here. Let's have a look around. Right, light! There we go. Chill under here for a second. Whoa. Whoa! I remember you, you douchebag. I see you. Oh, I remember part of the puzzle. I remember part of the puzzle that's to do with doing you. Yeah. Right, there we go. You. Indeed. He's got, he's got to take like a glance around and that's it, that's all you can do. If I actually, wait a minute, is there a tinderbox? Yeah, there is, boom. There you go, so that'll give me a little bit of light while we work here. Have a look. Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay. Indeed, so we've got to get to the wine cellar. Indeed. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Alright, that's all well and good, but that's not good for us at the moment if we don't have a key to the wine cellar, so let's see what we can do. Uh, oh. There should be more cooperite. Cooperite? What on earth is cooperite? Let me see, let me see. And one part, aquafortis. Okay. Cooperite and aquafortis. Okay, at least we know we have an idea about what it is we need. We got you. Chemistry pot. Lovely, we need that. Let's refresh our sanity just a bit. Early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I am close. Calamine and orpiment are a given, and the cooperite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, in hopes it will in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and, pr and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemical solution to my predicament. What predicament is this? Uh, let's have a look. Mementos. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. So that's how we're going to get past that organic material. Let's have a look in here. What have we got? Uh, I, I'll tell you what. Sliding these drawers open is like half the fun of amnesia. What is this? I never actually understood these things. We've got this little weird cylinder thing. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. Now that to me sounds like some kind of memory or promise that is hidden within a cylinder, and I wonder whose and why. Whose it is and why it is just chilling there in that, in that cylinder. So I don't really know what else to make of that. I need a key to the wine cellar, but I don't know where it is, so I think... I've got an idea. Yeah, because a thing hasn't happened yet. So that, no, let me up the damn stairs, right, there we go. A thing hasn't happened yet, but at least we believe that I'm not actually supposed to be here yet. Let me just, just look outside and, and, and imagine myself touching grass for a moment. That, that's, not, that's not keeping me in light. That's not, I can hear, I can hear the bug scratches, so that's not keeping me, that's not keeping me sane, looking at that light. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Hmm. Alright, let's go this way. Uh, and we know that there's another door up here. I believe this is the library? I think? What is this? No. Oh. Can, can hear someone doing like some kind of bird signal. What have we got in here? Archives. Yes. Uh, Travelling to Dover meant going through Cant uh, Canterbury. Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. Hmm. So I wonder who exactly this is that the London screens are talking about. 
Ah, uh, yes. Alright, we've got the Library Rare Books. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Oh, catal catalogs. Yeah. Alright. Uh, first of all, can I get these curtains open? Nope, but I'm gonna get you. There you go, again, we, want, we don't wanna, we don't wanna, no, we don't wanna use too many of these tinder boxes, but you know, if I ever plan on searching a room, I wanna get a bit of permanent light going on. There we go, that's alright. Tinder box, good stuff, what are you? Wilhelm's contract. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg, is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Wilhelm, House of Garrick. So I think, I think we may be hearing a little bit more about uh, Wilhelm. And it would appear that people are signing their loyalty to this Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else here. Okay, we'll have a look around. We got... Oh, it's just ink. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't realise that when I clank, clank that down, like, ink would, like, just spray out. What? Alright. Go in here. Uh... Well, I didn't just 100% hear something behind me. Lovely. We got clothes. I assume we're already wearing some. We don't need that. Come on, game. Give me something useful. All right. Uh, in fact, I mean, the game never actually chose our character, so we might not have clothes. Um, what is this? 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. They're quite possible. Oh, wait, there we go. We uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Indeed. So we are working for the British Museum at this point, and um, Albert. Albert was a name. I do believe Albert is the name of the person that I was mentioning in Soma, where he has a, he has like a soundtrack or a musical cue when you uncover pieces of information about him in Amnesia, and there was something to do with a ringtone in um, Soma that you could. Uh, it was like the same. It was the same as the musical cue that you'll find here. Um, I didn't get that musical cue, so I guess I'll have to look at Marlon's video again and see what on earth he was talking about with that. Uh, because I could have sworn it, it was ha it, like you. Pl I could have sworn he played the musical cue when we got old tombs, old tomes even. He pl it, the musical cue played when he. Uh, well, yeah, books have just thrown themselves off of shelves. Lovely. But I don't want to spend too much time here because I don't think I don't think there's actually too much here. Okay. Nope, alright. Yes, yeah, see, that's the thing, is that there'd be, there'd be stuff all over here if, uh, uh, no, come on, here we go. No, alright, nice. So, let's keep going. There'd be stuff all over these areas if, uh, uh, in, in normal mode. I'd be, I'd be on, like, ten tinder boxes and loads of oil by now, but, uh, it won't open, it's locked. Alright, we've got, uh, the door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? There will be. Uh, it won't open, it's, oh wait, local history, there we go, that's the one. Alright, I'm going to put you down for a moment, because it's relatively well lit in here. Ah, oh, look at it go, I love the outside, it's great. When it's not filled with an African sun, because, screw that. Uh, wait a minute, we have been in here, haven't we? Wait, we didn't go in here, did we? I don't believe we did. And it's well lit, which works out well for us. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Okay. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. 
Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. Oh dear. I was trapped. Indeed. Though, given the fact that we seem to still be here, I'm guessing that that did not occur for long. Now, what is this familiarity to this 4th century structure? And would this structure happen to be more than 400 years older than the 4th century that you initially believed it to be? It does not appear that there's anything in here. You know, uh, I guess I'm not too surprised, considering the fact that we're on hard mode. Excuse me. Right, let's get in here, where it's nice and bright. Um, and let's see what we've got. Excuse me, in this direction, because I'm guessing there's going to be some kind of monster in the basement, right next to a huge steaming pile of foreshadowing. Now, um, yeah, I won't lie, I could have tried harder for that joke, but oh well. Uh, Come on. I believe in you. Come on, Daniel. If your life depends on this, you. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Come on. Daniel. Da 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 Daniel. Daniel. Come on. We can do this. Okay. Right. I don't. I don't care about that much. Um. No wait. Come on. We can do this. We, we can do this. If I like wedge a leg in there. Ah oh, damn it. Let's say if I. There you go. Wait. So if I just. No, nope, that did not work. <sighs> Fine, alright, just... Okay, sure, it doesn't matter that much. If I raise this, can I have a go at the piano? No? Uh, whoa. I, I must have gone crazy, I could have sworn I just saw a tentacle dangling from the damn thing. It looks like I'm going more crazy than Daniel. Uh, we don't want to stay here for too long, there's nothing in here, lovely. Uh, I'm gonna go in, wait a minute, first, uh, not just yet, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna interrupt that thing just yet. Alright, how much oil do I have? Not an infinite amount. Uh, okay, right, hang on, so first of all, boom, there you go. Uh, boom, okay, nothing in here, uh, alright, let's have a look. Something's happening to me. 
in a, in a room where this orb seemingly wasn't present, we have found an alien orb. A very ancient, a very ancient relic that would appear. Right, we have the floor plans, lovely, I should get myself in here. Um, we have found this broken orb. Uh, it would appear to be broken in our hands, even though it wasn't broken when we found it. Which is interesting. There we go. Uh, and now... Oh, what have we got here? Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tempted to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. Hmm. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Hmm. And what exactly is this shadow that they are running from? And it would appear that it intends to take down the castle. Alright, so again, the thing that we're supposed to do is here, fragile but not breakable by hand you are a liar. You are a liar. Again, the game lies to you there. It says it's not breakable by hand but it literally is. You just tap on it long enough. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Indeed. However, what exactly are we doing here? Right, so, mementos. There is some sort of a secret door mechanism in the local history room. And that's how we are going to gain access to the next area that we need. First of all, pick up you. There we go. We're doing very well on oil for the moment. We don't want to get too greedy. First of all, I want to have a quick look around. Fine, screw you. Local folklore. Alstadt, Alstadt and Bredenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes uh, it is uh, the quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. Oh yes, what a good name. What, 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 what a good name for, for, for a, 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 a folklore enemy, like, like a villain. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, revisited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is only Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? I forgot about that part, about him having died ten years ago, or ten years later. Interesting. The Immortal Baron. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm doing this story for the first time, even though I know I'm not, because I know what happens and bits and pieces of it. I feel like I'm just I feel like I'm I'm I'm, I'm getting pieces of information that I'm starting to thinking, hang on, what on earth is going on in like around the actual main story? 
The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most those of noble birth, rumours are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, from the, from the Rhinelands, from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. 300 years old, you believe that to be the case? Why do you believe that to be the case? Right, um, yes, so there's a thing here with the books, you know, like I've got a- there we go, wait for it. No, not you- oh, you sneak! Alright, okay, I've got to be careful here because uh, we've only got so much time. Uh, where are you? Okay, right, so there's you. There's you. Right, so we've got one. I believe there is four. Wait a minute. Are you one of them? No. Okay, alright. Alright, 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 all right. Okay, right, so we've got one. Right, first of all. Uh, one. Two. Got it, there we go. Right. Boom. I'm not sure if there's four, but no, it appears there are only three. That's great. Right, so what have we got? We have a key. Lovely. I don't want to take that just yet because I'm pretty sure I know what happens. We got you. Regarding the closing of the wine cellar, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trustworthy servants. My trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be it would in a sense solve both of my problems. Lovely, so he's afraid of these kingsmen either being caught or snitching. I believe is the idea there. In which case, we need to find our way into that wine cellar, and I believe we have that way. Pick up the wine cellar key. And that door has been busted open. So I remember, uh. Oh. Oh. I do remember what happens here in a moment. Yes. I don't know if he's actually an active enemy. I don't know if he's like actually... I think he is. Right, that's cool and all, but I know there's a letter here somewhere that I've missed. First of all, yeah, head is pounding, hands are shaking. Damn. Right, I know there's a letter somewhere that I've missed. Because, uh, it won't budge. Okay, damn it. Uh, yeah, because of the whole, you know, like I only have the one. Now you only have two out of three letters. And I want the third letter. Where is it? Whoa, okay. Um, again, I'm not sure if... Uh, I don't think this creature is actually here. Uh, no, not here. Come on, where are you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it won't budge. Oh, come on, where is this letter? I'm wasting all my oil. Uh, damn it. Got to be careful. Come on, where's this? Where's this light? It's got to be here somewhere. Got to be here somewhere. Right, yeah, I don't want. I don't want to use all my oil. Yeah. Where are you? Come on, you're here somewhere. I know you are. Yeah. 
Uh, it's making me, it's making me want to watch uh, Mauler's uh, review series again. Hearing him talk about like how the how the sound effects were made and all that kind of stuff. Very very interesting. Very cool. Wait a minute. What's no? Okay. Where is this thing? Come on. It's got to be here somewhere. And then here. It's got to be. It's got to be somewhere. Where where could this thing have been? Like I've, it would appear that I've missed it, but also how? Damn it, that thing's caved in, which means I've got to go all the way around and I'm going to waste uh, life. Damn it. Alright, okay. Alright, well I can't waste all of my oil and tinderboxes doing this. Alright, the sand gave way to his tired body as he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind gently sweep across his face and his dry, crusted lips. Lovely. So it appeared that he was struggling to make it back. Ow, you fucking douche. I've just been, I've just been attacked by this, this uh, the orange goo. Alright. Well, whoa. Oh, so I can't even make it past it. I have to be careful. No! Oh, I can't. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get past, but I'm trying to get past without being damaged, but I failed. So I've well I'll take all is good. Oh no, I actually haven't taken any damage. I took damage, but I guess it like healed all the game. The game didn't really t make it permanent damage considering the fact that I was th th that it's like scripted almost that you take damage there. Alright, let's go down here into the wine cellar. So it would appear that this uh, music. Oh wait, uh, yeah, sure. Boom. Nope. That's the one. And we get a little bit of our sanity back as well for for progressing. The stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. So we moved that stone slab, and we have taken out this strange orb that was probably shattered into several pieces for a reason. Let's get down here and. Oh dear. All right. Okay. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing of wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Cooperite. There we go. Uh, picked up the Cooperite. That's what we're here for. Is this a... What is this? It's a saw. Is it a saw or a bow? That's what I need to know. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so I can chill here for a little bit if I need to. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is where the king's men were uh, uh, were kept. Uh, come on, is that definitely not a? Ah, oh, fine. All right, see yourself. Uh, just get a little bit of a. Yep. Yeah. Is there anything anywhere? Nope. Okay. All right. Let's get out of there. Uh. What about in here? There's a room over there as well. Okay, right. Well, somebody's occupied, so if an enemy's near, stay out of sight. Well, there isn't an enemy near, so I'm sure we're all right. Whoa. Okay. All right. What's down here? Again, I need to be careful because, you know, darkness and light. Uh, okay, right. Cool. Uh, what have we got here? We have Laudanum. Oh. Increase your health. That's cool and all. Uh, that creature was just sort of standing there watching us. Um, yeah. Increase your health. Drink it. Yeah. Um, cool. Well. Okay, right, cool. He's, he's dangerously low. Yes, my sanity is dangerously low and I'm dying because that monster was just bloody staring at me and I looked at it. Um, Sanity is now dangerously low. Make sure to stay in the light and try to make progress. We've got to try and make progress in order to regain our sanity. It's a bit annoying, but oh dear. Now, in order to prevent ourselves from dying, because oh yes, remember, don't forget that's a thing. And I'm running out of oil as well. Um, we've got to try and make progress without. With, with, with our. We can't, even, we can't even move properly. Like this, this, the, the game's making me sway, sway like this. Isn't even me. All right. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Right. There's nothing there. Uh, what's going on over here? There's nothing going on anywhere. Okay. All right. We got it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I was gonna say, can I like help myself here a little bit? If I just sort of stay here and stare at the light, I'd take take a minute. And then like, can I can I like straighten myself out for ten seconds? Be great. Uh, 
and I can hear stuff creaking around me. That's always great, isn't it? Oh, I think I am straightening myself out a little bit. It's not swaying as much. So I think if I chill here, and it, I don't think it works for stuff like candlelight. I think if you stay in daylight for a little bit, it does help recover a bit of your sanity. Again, not by loads, but it does. It does sort of help sort of level you out for give give you a couple of extra seconds, you know. Well, we are seeing things moving over there. I saw, I saw something. Wait a minute. Wait. I think we can move. If for, if for nothing but a second, we can move. All right, nice. Wait, what's this over here? Picked up all all That's the uh, fourth ingredient. We need the rest. What's in here? What about? Oh, what's over here? Oh, we were just in here, weren't we? Yeah. Okay. Right. What up? Ah, this door's open now. Uh, wait, no, we were just in here, weren't we? Yeah, okay, we were just in here. What about over here? Oh dear. This is a very evil looking place, isn't it? Right, I know what that does there, so I need to look around first. Before anything goes wrong, right, our sanity is, is almost gone. I need oil, I need tinder boxes. Wait, here we go. Uh, nope, give. Refill the lander with a few drops of oil. All right, okay, alright, nice. That gives you. Um, I assume that we're not going to be getting many of those fully regening us. Right, well, let's get you. Picked up the calamine. Right, it's cave in. Let me get up. Come on. Daniel, get up before something bad happens. Oh, God. There we go. We've got to do something here. That's. Yep. Push. Sure, we gotta get out. Oh, there we go. Right, we're leveled out just a little bit. Head is pounding and hands are shaking, but we're not quite dead. Okay, but our sanity is gonna drain again if that if that keeps up. All right. Oh, these people have been uh, absolutely butchered from the looks of things. Uh, all right, again, I can't find anything in the area. I don't know what's in here. Definitely nothing around. Whoa, 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 whoa. My chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except Wilhelm. You're not getting out of here, Mark. How can you say that, Alexander? You piece of shit! Let us out of here! Hmm. <laughs> so it appears that Alexander poisoned these individuals, and they. What, butchered themselves? Yes, I really am not getting much many resources here, am I? I can see why they call it hard mode. Alright. Uh, how many tin boxes do I have left? You. Yeah, sure, that'll do. For a moment. Uh, there's nothing in there. Alright, we've got a note. Wilhelm's last words. My name is Wilhelm, House of Garrick. These are my final words. My confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brennenberg. As both... Excuse me. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what this knight, what this supposed knight of the order, could want from me, and accepted the invitation. The baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim, and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accept it wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... 
and there is nothing left that is legible. So, uh, Alexander would appear to be quite the manipulator, and he has managed to, uh, he, he's, he's, he's scored the loyalty of uh, many soldiers, and he has had them collect people for his cause, and they were never seen again, and we have to find out why. Pick up, picked up Aqua Regia. Crystal clear, look at that, alright, look at this girl. We're doing alright now in terms of that, we don't need to use the, uh, we, we, we've got all the ingredients, wait, do we have all of them? One, two, three, four, yeah, we have all the ingredients, alright, we can get lost now. We can disappear, we can, we can get to, uh, uh, we have all four ingredients, which means we can go and head back to the laboratory. Entrance hall. The cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought. Or perhaps too few. Indeed. What cloth? Oh, well, not cloth. What pieces? What are you talking about? Alright, keep moving. Keep moving. Before something... Oh, God damn it, before that happens. Alright, move. There we go. Uh, a few cuts and bruises. That's fine. I can use you. I don't know how many pieces... I don't know how many pieces that actually heals you by. So I don't know if that's... If I actually just wasted it doing that, but... Keep moving. There we go. Low There we go. We gotta try. You gotta try and get over it quickly before it kills you. He sat down by the Casper wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. So he's been injured by something. Very interesting. Let's get down here now and see what we can get. Uh, all is good. Wait, no. All is. Yep. Crystal clear in terms of sanity. That's all well and good. Uh, right. Well, we're here. Here we go. Right, let's start putting this thing together, shall we? Let's have a look. Right, we got you. Put you there. Boom. Uh, we got you. Indeed. Oh, we're, fa we're falling apart. Oh damn, the uh, the stairs of the stairs have collapsed. We can't get back out. Stairs have collapsed. A slight headache, so yeah, witnessing unsettling events and all of that. But that's absolutely fine because guess what? Need to turn the but oh yeah, there we go. Whoop. Now turn the burners. We are going to create a concoction, and this is the acid that's going to help us get around. Boom. There it is. Picked up a pot of acid. Slight headache. That's not. Come on. All right. We are running low on oil, actually. So we should probably hurry up. We have the pot of acid, which is going to help us escape. Now, here we go. Mementos. Stairs have collapsed. Find a way to climb back up. Some sort of. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sure. Uh. Right. Ah. Oh, damn it. Right. Yeah. So we gotta. We gotta find boxes and stuff to. To get back up here. But I don't know how many are actually needed. No. Come on. Jump. There we go. Nope. There we go. There we go. Right, nice. We got it. We, we, we can do it with just one. Lovely. Let's get out of here and let's go use this acid. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. Their voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. So what situation is this referring to? Okay. Nope. Move. Okay. Lovely. All right. Well, it would, oh god, we need to move. Well, it, it would appear that the shadow is progressing all the way through the castle, and it is most certainly we need to get out of this area quickly because otherwise there will be nowhere in this room we can stand that won't kill us. There we go. Pot of acid. Do it. See you in a bit, mate. There we go. We can now progress, but we should probably move first. Refinery, which gets us a little bit closer to the inner sanctum. After enduring three days in Algiers, a sailboat was finally arranged to take him across the Mediterranean Sea to Gibraltar. Having reached British territory, it was just a matter of reserving a chain on SS Hortensia, heading uh, for London. Lovely. Alright, let's go forward a bit, shall we? It sure is dark in here. It is indeed. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. Only temporarily. What's the reason for the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the Indeed. reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Stray from what? 
Where to? Alright, well we can keep going. Enemies are near. Well, enemies aren't near, are they? So I'll see you in a bit, mate. Um, oh, it's this area again. Whoop. I believe that this enemy is now actually active. So I need to be very careful. And my... Uh, and, and this... Okay, I thought it was right there. <laughs> Okay, right. Well, the shadow is progressing, and I'm running out of. Uh, I'm running out of. Wait, here we go. You have to get out of here. Yes, I do. I have to get out of here. Right, we've got oil. Here we go. We've got a tinder box. Well, that's probably drawn it. Everyone's attention to me, hasn't it? Right. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. Right, we've got a little bit more oil. Come on, I need more. Yeah. Any, any that's actually here. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm not here. I'm over here. Second of June, here we go. 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. Hmm. An excessive decision in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal Lovely. this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Well, that is a very interesting question, which uh, is a question that I intend on answering as we progress through this area. Uh, now, again, the shadow is following us and is all over the damn place. It's blocked from the other side, right? Okay, no, all right, let's have a look. The door leading to the back room is blocked off. Find another way in, which we shall absolutely do. What's in here? That leads over into that room, that's fine. Uh, I could go this way, that, okay, cool. That's how we get in there. Okay, first of all, oil, is there anything at all? Anything at all? Anything at all? We've got a tinderbox. Lovely. I can light the next room if I have to. Uh, wait a minute. If I remember correctly, there is a... Okay, right. Well, we've got... Uh, right, well, I'm going to light you for a second. It is here. <sighs> you, you've done it again, mate. 25th of June, 1839. I feel the need to continue this journal even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Whatever do you mean? Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Is that so? Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. It sounds like that might very well be the case. I'm running out of oil again, and I'm also running out of everything. I need to go into that little area that I found in here, because quite frankly, I'm running out of oil and sanity and I need to progress right now. Right, we're right here. For example, boom, give me you. Okay, we've got a little bit of oil. Oh god, I'm dying. Right, this... We could be... It, we, we, this could be dangerous, guys. We are very close here. It's stuck, something's cro... Right, okay, yeah, see, I remember this. I remember, I remember what I'm supposed to do. Uh... Uh, wait. Oh god, wait. there's something clogging the thing. Where are you? Give. I can. There we go. Wait for it. Got it. There we go. The head is pounding. Nice. That allows me to open that and proceed. But, is there any oil anywhere? Anything? Come on. 
You don't have anything for me. Come on. We're running out of oil again. Right, fine, come on. Right. This way. Okay, that's opened this thing, which means we can get going. Right now. Do it. God damn it. Alright, we're still all is good. It's fine, right. There's this stuff we, we've got. There's light. And the shadow was chasing us, which means we need to move. Go. Cellar archives. We can do this. He crashed to the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Oh my goodness. Right. This game's a lot easier when you're not on hard mode. Oh god, it's this part. Alright. Water. Yep. Oh, it's this thing. There you are. You douche. I need to be over there. Come on. Over here, you douche. Alright, go. Go. Get me up. Get me up. Why won't you jump on something? There we go. As for, I don't know why. What, I don't know what you were playing at. I wouldn't screen quite badly. I don't know what you were playing at with the whole, like, not jumping thing. There we go. It's fine. What is this thing? Nope. You gonna go up or what? I see what I've got to do. I know what my objective is here. Because I remember it. I don't know if... Right, okay. I think I think I think I... Yeah, I've got to... Got to find, like, meat or something like that, haven't I? Uh, hang on. There's nothing over here for me, that's the thing. Uh. Jump! Whoa. Why won't you jump, you fool? Why are you messing around with that? There we go. Got it. Got it. Right, come on. I got you. Lobbing them. Give. All is good. Lovely. But I'm running out of oil and I need more. Otherwise I won't be able to see anything. There we go. Oh god, you're a douche. Good. Got it. I'm running out of oil. I need oil. Nope. Jump. There we go. Right, I'm about to run out of oil, guys. This is it. Oh wait, no, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Go. 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 There we go, this way. Oh, there it is, there's it. Right, well, I'm out of oil. I'm out of oil. I think I've got to figure this part out. There we go. Got it. Alright, here we go. Right, I'm gonna do this for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. First of all, where, are, where is this creature? There you go, you douche. Go over here, where I can see you. There you go. Alright, so first of all, right, keep this thing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. All right, go. Jump. There you go. We're in here now. Oh, there's another one. I see you over there, you douchebag. Right, I've got food here. I've got meat. You want to go right over there? Okay. Yep, indeed. There you go. I've got, I've got oil. Got oil. Boom. Yep. All right. Nice. Here we go. Nope. All right. So, what I'm gonna do? All the way over there, you. I need him to get it first. Right, he's getting it, he's getting it, go. 
Are you gonna do it or what? Alright, there you go, that way. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Because we can do it, we can do a double take. Boom, go that way. Do it. You do your thing. Right, he's eating it. Go. Aha! Wait, we can go. 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 Uh, right, okay. Oil, oil, oil. Right, we got... Whatever this thing is. Give. What is it? Give. Hollow Needle. Okay, I'll be needing that. That'll be useful. And he's coming. He's coming. Locked with a simple lock. Alright, I'll tell you what. Boom. Do it. Archive tunnels. We did it. Something large brushed against his leg, and he felt himself being dragged along by the current of the beast. He pushed himself above the surface. Help, he cried, as the ocean swallowed him again. Lovely. Well, we got there without dying. We have yet to die. We have done it. We have to go, because I this is a chase sequence, and we are being chased. And the shadow is after us. Go. Shut the doors. Keep going, keep going. We're being chased. We're not, we're not, we're not waiting on a, uh, we're not, we're not dancing around on these uh, obstacles. We're just jumping over and we're going straight in. Shut doors, go. Go, 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 go. To the left. Go on, and there it is, here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Keep going, keep going, go, 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 go. Back home. Thank God this door is locked. He felt himself being hoisted out of the ocean. The, lac the lacquered hull of SS Hortensia glittered in the soothing, warm, yellow light of the setting sun. He turned his head to the calm ocean, reaching towards the coast of Portugal, and thought, Is this another dream? Well, thank you for waiting long enough for me to read that, because quite frankly, you had me worried a little bit there. Alright, so, uh, four... What? Four tinderboxes? Are you kidding? What? What? How am I supposed to... What do you mean? Four tinderboxes? I can't... There's no... I don't have four tinderboxes. I have to have four tinderboxes. I didn't realise that I needed four. Oh, god damn it. Right. Okay. I guess I'm going to keep going until I have four. Unless you just want to give me four right now. Oh, come on. Aha! We have you. Okay, we have three. Okay, we've got you. Lovely. Um, if I can get a fourth tinderbox, that'd be great, because I do kind of need one. Right. Now. But, at the same time, what in here? Considering the fact that the game wants us to go in here. Ooh, look at us go. You have an ascending room. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? We have indeed. Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer, and in the other direction. Because hmm. we're going down instead. Lovely. Uh, so we have to find a way to activate this this lift, this elevator. Uh, it's not working. Lovely. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator, which is one thing that we're definitely going to do. Um, so we have yet to die. We are, we are doing well. I'm going to go in here. Machine room is locked. Okay. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room, which is definitely a thing that we can do. And to do it, I'm going to go this way, because that's how we progress. Uh, how's my sanity doing? We're doing crystal clear, all is good. I have to say that we're doing alright for ourselves. Why have we got legs just chilling in here? Uh, what's, wait, what is this? Oh. I didn't realize this is a thing that I can do. Alright. Maybe, maybe that's what that creature was, it was just a disembodied player just pressing the button on that. Alright, what's in here? Uh, we could go into wherever this room is. Because that sounds like a thing. Storage. Let's see what we've got. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in, in, in rope. The lock had been broken. By thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering all the hands it had passed. So, Herbert was robbed. And Herbert... Oh, I remember this area. I was very much like a tin box, please. So that I can save. And also, because... Uh, the darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. So, it's not born of just a lack of light, you say. A change in the wind, says I. 
Alright. Um, okay, come on. There's gotta be stuff. Uh, no, come on. Uh, Alright, okay, we got you. A drill part. No. So, yes, it would appear. First of all, there he is. There is a creature here. He's active. The enemy is active. I need to save. Go. Go. Going down here. Alright, cool. Valve has rotted shot, so we need to do something here. Lovely. I would really, really, really appreciate it in the box. We've got you. A drill part, lovely. Uh, come on, come on, come on, tinder box. Yeah. The enemy's upstairs, so we're not 100% a threat at the moment. Come on, come on. Tinder box. What's in here? What have you got? Uh, tinder box, there we go, tinder box. Boom. No, give, give. Right, okay, cool. So, alrighty then, the time has come. Wait, now, do you know what? I'm just going to do it right now. Save. There we go. Boom. Alrighty then, the time has come for me to depart. I hope you guys did about as much fun as I did. If there are any games you'd like to see me play, feel free to suggest them down in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And have a splendid day.